Hello, I'm so happy to be back with you guys. It's been a week or more since I've been out of the studio and uh, using my colors I'm going to add to a pan. I'm going to try and do something easy just so I can have some fun in the studio. I'm going to do cerulean blue and frostbite, maybe some African violet, some fandango, some deep, excuse me, um, midnight shadow, royal sapphire, some true silver, which they were out of last time I looked, pink carnation, orange crush, orange cr uh, sour lemon with orange crush with a little bit added to it. This is the new Purely Pigments um, droppers go into uh, your pouring medium. It's a dancing fuchsia. Um, I think there's also some other stuff in here. It looks like there's a drop of magenta in there as well. I have some Pebeo iridescent blue green I haven't used for a long time. That may come into play. I've got Prism Pour uh, Bobbing for Apples, which is new. I'll list the colors under the video. Cupid's Crush is an option. And uh, Isidoro is a primary element. Anyway, so now I'm going to pull my pan up. You can use garbage for this. I just cut the, took, peeled the cardboard back off. And uh, I don't know why one end is cut down, but it is. So my basic starting place is to give myself a color that I have enough of to feel like I'm not going to waste it too much. And in this case, it's going to be the frostbite that's going in the bottom. Because I need something to fluff up the colors. I don't know a better way to put that. And I would think, think that that's probably enough or more than enough. It's sort of like a pillow, but we're not doing a bloom. We're doing a shovel pour. So I'm going to put that out of my way because I might want it out of my way. This is cerulean blue. I had no idea I was going to start, start with this. And what I particularly like with cerulean blue is fandango which used to have a problem with water coming out, so I'll give it a little bit of a shake. It doesn't seem to be having that problem anymore, which is a good thing. I also like with the cerulean blue and the fandango some of the royal sapphire. So we'll give that a try as well. Oh yeah. There is no rhyme or reason to the way I apply my colors into the dish because they're going to get scooped up at random. This is the Midnight Shadow. I'll just use all the colors I mentioned already as long as they come to hand. And This is the uh, African Violet. And I like to use a lot of colors, mostly because if I use a lot of colors, I can use only a small amount. This is the pink carnation. I didn't bring any jasmine over, and I might still do that. My jasmine got some uh, dancing fuchsia added to it, so let's see how I feel about it after I try the dancing fuchsia on its own. And the orange crush. I'm not sure that true silver is going to come into play. We'll see. The basically, basically the frostbite isn't going to show up much. I'd be really surprised if it does. I'm running out of space on my. I have a turntable with a big tray on it that I keep my colors on. I'm kind of running out of space on it. This is the Sour Lemon that used to have Orange Crush in it, and now it has a little bit of the, um, the Purely Pigments Holly Berry. Not even sure I have room for all these colors. 
I keep forgetting gold. I don't... So, what are we... We're back to cerulean blue again. Okay. Can't ignore the hand. When the hand picks something up, there must be a reason. All right, I am going to give this Pebeo Iridescent Blue-Green a little bit of a go. Because I've been wanting to for a while. It is a fabulous color. This is Cupid's Crush. Primary element. I might check to see how much Chantilly Lace I have. Or I might go with what I originally planned, which was that True Silver. This is the Bobbing for Apples. This is a new Prism Pour. And what have I, le what have I left out? Just the Isadora. Cross your fingers, this works out for me. Alright, I have most of my things out of the way. I think the Chantilly Lace has to come into play. I would put black in, but black's already in the background, so I don't think that that's a, pro a necessity. Excuse me while I growl at you. My throat is still a little bit funky sounding. This is a 14 by 14 inch canvas I primed maybe an hour and a half ago with mead and black paint, and it is nice and dry. Semi-gloss, too. All right, what have I been doing? I've been using a small... 8 by 10 inch canvas. Underneath my pan of colors so I have an option to lift and scrape and I like that option too. I'd like to be able to scrape off the bottom and put this someplace. I really don't want to lose any of those colors. I'm quiet because I'm focused, and I also want to see how far I can... Oh, and I see there's a, a hair on the canvas. See how far I can make this go. Looks like I could make it go all the way. But I don't think I can do that. Might be the first time I ever did. We can try. If I slow my roll enough, or maybe I'll be, just be sneaky and go back and grab some more paint from that exact same spot. And try and go from the other side. Good experiment. See if we can meld our, meld our two sides. I think it's time for a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula. And make it, fake it. All right, that's interesting. I like the orange. Sometimes I think I should tip the canvas up when I start.
And if I've got any little dribbles, like I see, you may not see them because they're pretty small. I can always clean them up with a dampened Q-tip. So I'll call this X marks the spot and call it done right now. Let's grab that Q-tip. I'm not always concerned with them, but right now I can be, so I will. I kind of still miss some, uh, some gold or silver. It's not too late either. And you can definitely make marks by dribbling out of the shovel. Oh wow, I did not notice that. Okay. Well, at least it didn't dump on the floor, right? I might not be the sharpest tool in the shed right now. And I'm assuming that everybody else probably has a little more space than I'm giving myself right here, right now. Basically, all I'm going to do is fill in and hope for the best. Whoa, that was not the best I was hoping for. So I will just grab my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula again. What will I do? Uh, good question. Use a Q-tip. and accept that some things can't be fixed. But I don't give up easily. And I'm probably going to get lucky enough to make it meld in with everything else somewhat. And if I have a skewer, and I usually do, I will grab some of that midnight shadow Fix my mark. And some of the bobbing for apples. And minimize the damage. There we go. Better than it was. And I think I'm going to go up here. I do try and scrape off my shovel every time. I don't know. I don't know at all. But I have scraped off the bottom again. Not sure about that. Oh, I dripped again. I'm not being careful today. I'm sure somebody won't care. I might want to go in here with some 24 karat gold just because I can. That was Decor Americana 24 karat gold. I just wanted to see what it was going to look like.
and it's mixed differently than the rest of the paints. I do like that gold. Makes me want to do it somewhere else. And I'm not sure if you need to do what I'm doing to taper off the end or not. Or in this case, just integrate it with the line in front of it. But I like the lines. <coughs> okay, I've got some really nice pink carnation in my shovel. And I think I'm going to dribble. I'm not sure where I'm going to start from, that's all. All right, so far so good. Let's integrate that to the edge. I'm not trying to make it go over. It wouldn't hurt if it did, I'm sure. Oh, wrong end. That's one of my bottle tip cleaning apparatuses. I haven't thought about any dots or any spirals till now couple spirals. I think dots might do something pretty good to this. I want to take some more paint. I'm definitely enjoying the orange. Wow, I actually got away with that. Cool. I'm thinking I might do the same thing up here. Although I have orange in my shovel and I want to use it right now if I can. Might take a moment of patience on my part. Next time that timer goes off, it means I'm going to have to shut the camera off and come back. dribbled. But I think there's all kinds of stuff you can do about that. Starting with a skewer. Not sure about the rest of that. Anyway, I want to make sure you guys know that there's a 20% off color art coupon code below the below show more in the description of the video. I'm going to take all of my colors out of my shovel with my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula, attempting to not dribble, which may or may not be a possible possibility at this point. that line off I don't see it end all right so I'm shimmering at this at you because I don't know when my camera stopped but um, I think I'm gonna add some dots still 
I want to make sure you guys know that there's 20% off color or coupon code in the description of the video under show more near the Pixel Paint Designs 10% off coupon code that'll get you Australian flow draw. Anyway, I kind of like this way better once I stood on my ladder than I did from down below and I didn't mind it. So I'm kind of thinking it's time to, um, instead of trying to use the shovel anymore, it's just time to add some dots. So I'm going to scrape my shovel out so the paint doesn't dry in there. Add it back to the... Ooh, the, pr the back is pretty. Probably didn't have long enough to focus on that, sorry. Throw those tools in the bucket. The bucket is a big square pan. Grab my dotting tool. And hope that I have the colors that I want left in my pan. I see there's orange there, which is always a favorite. It's lucky that one just it started to drip and it didn't let go. That's a good thing. I try not to go overboard too far. This is the large end of a chopstick with a round top. It has a small bottom. I found them with uh, little rectangles, all kinds of ways. It's worth looking into to see what you can find for mark making tool in your kitchen junk drawer. I want some purple. Over here. That's the small end. Sort of um, reminds me of an underwater plant, maybe. In any case, it looks like it's bubbling or breathing or something. It's producing little marks. Oh, I like the smaller marks. The graduated is cool. Don't usually keep as much negative space as I have here. And that's actually really okay with me right now. That I have that. So sometimes if you have a lot of paint on your stick and you skip a spot, you can go back and fill it in between and sort of even out the amount of paint you have. That's a combination of that cerulean blue and that Pebeo iridescent blue-green, which is probably one of my all-time favorite colors. Right up there with my color art favorite colors. I don't want to put a spiral in, but I'm not sure why. Just minor modifications. That one spiral. I don't think that hurt anything. I've got some pretty red that I, that I think is Cupid's Crush. Whoops. I'm just going to lead that right along. Pretend that it's completely normal. I'm not sure how much further I want to go. It looks good a bunch of ways. It's okay to borrow paint from someplace else. And I'm not minding my dots a bit. 
I forgot to take my non-paint shirt off and I almost just wiped my chopstick off on it. That's funny. Like I said, brain function is not at an all-time high right now. I kind of want to put some gold dots in there. I think that's a great idea. So I'm going to wipe off my chopstick, take my decor at 24 karat gold, put some in the pan. I might have a small canvas around here to do something with this after. That looks like a mistake. And I made it go away, yay. All right, let's try the gold. And we'll switch to the small end. I'm liking it more and more. Got away with it, I think. The colors are good. I will torch to release the bubbles caught in the paint. I do see a few right in here. I haven't stopped being excited about adding dots, though. For some reason I keep being called back to this same spot. I want to put the gold dots next to the gold line. Which I hope is the right thing to do. I guess I'm not done. Try and offset the paint someplace so it can have similar size graduated dots. getting there. I, I think I'm getting close. I hope so. I don't want to keep you here. Which reminds me, if you do watch the videos longer, you help my standing on YouTube, and I really appreciate it. Also, supporting the studio through memberships is sort of imperative, and I want to th say thank you to everybody who has joined the membership, because it's the only thing keeping me on YouTube, honestly. You cover the cost of uh, canvases sometimes. I'm going to have to start painting on things I have saved up that, I, that aren't favorites. So I want that. Come on. There we go. I don't think that's too bad at all. So close, I can tell. I'm gonna go back to the red. Oh, that was almost a big boo-boo. But I like the red, so that's not a mistake. 
So I love you guys. There's uh, 33 playlists, uh, hopefully, most of which you can have access to. The, the members library has over 200 videos for members only. I don't know what made me stop adding dots down here. That's just a lot of fun. That's the fun I needed today. I'm trying to remember everything that I usually say to you, but my brain is fried. Um, please give me a thumbs up. Thank you for, for sharing my videos and watching them longer. My email address is EASPV in the word gallery spelled out at gmail.com. I think this might deserve one more, one more shimmer, but I definitely think it deserves. No, I love you guys. I hope you come again. I post at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Pretty much seven days a week still right now. What am I forgetting? My questions are wel welcome and encouraged. I want to thank you, all of you, who make donations through PayPal and Patreon, as well as members for keeping me here. It sounds like a lot more than it is, believe me. So everything and anything you donate to me helps me keep bringing tutorials to everyone else who can't afford to help me, as well as yourself. My community board will show you tomorrow's video, and thank you again for being here. I'm not good at reading today. Pinterest, Instagram, Twitter links, all on my link tree. My link tree is below. Show more in the description of the video. And... Um, I love you guys. You inspire me always. I'm, I'm glad to be back. I hope I stay back for a while. I'm still recovering, but uh, I'll get there. I promise. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Priscilla out.